Welcome back to Soul Power Snacks. For today's praying mantis snack animal, you will need three slices of zucchini or cucumber would work, two sprigs of fennel or dill or any other herb, five green beans, two cherry tomatoes, and one olive. Your olive should be cut so that you have two slices. You will see that three of my green beans were cut and two of them I cut a little bit above the halfway point. Let's get started. You will see I have put my ingredients off to the side and I'm going to start with my three zucchini slices. Two of my slices are a little bit bigger than one of them. These I'm going to place towards the top and will be the eyes for my praying mantis. The smaller one I'm going to place below as the rest of the face. Now I'm going to grab my two beans that are uncut and put them directly below the zucchini slices. One will be touching, and one I'm going to keep a little bit lower. Notice how tall and skinny and long they look. A praying mantis has a very long body. Now let's use the rest of the beans that have been cut. I'm going to take the two beans that were cut a little bit above halfway and use the longer halves as the arms. Notice how this end has been sliced. I want that to face out and be the connection to the rest of the mantis's arms. Next, I'm going to grab the two other bean halves that have the little curves at the end of them. These are going to work great as my praying mantis's arms, or we could call them forelegs. They have that cool little curve that mantises have. My other two beans I'm going to place down below as the legs. Did you know that some people think that praying mantises look like they are praying? What do you think? Now we're going to make the praying mantis's eyes. We're going to use these little cherry tomatoes for the eyes of the mantis. First, I'm going to use my thumb and press down on the zucchinis a little bit. This will flatten them out so that my cherry tomatoes don't roll all over the place. These tomatoes are perfect because right where the stems were are little spots that look like the pupils of the praying mantis. I could make it cross-side or looking off to the side or above. I'm just going to put them on there like normal. Now we're going to use the olives. I'm going to take one of the olive slices and I could use my fingers to break it up or because I only need half, I'm going to mm, take a bite of it. My praying mantis is going to be smiling. Isn't she so cute? We're going to use our other olive slice now. This time, I'm going to use my fingers to break it in half because I'm going to need both halves. These are going to be the eyebrows of my praying mantis. I notice that one of my olives has a little flap at the end. I'm just going to take a nibble of that and put it right back for the eyebrow. Last, we're going to use the fennel to make antennas for our praying mantis. Fennel is a really sweet herb that tastes like licorice and it helps your belly feel better after eating. I can change my eyebrows on my praying mantis to look angry or excited or just plain happy. I loved making this praying mantis. She's so sweet. Some people believe that praying mantises bring good luck. May your praying mantis bring good luck to you. How does your praying mantis look? Is it different than mine? That's awesome. Thanks for joining us today. Remember to shine your light by eating right. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for being here. Bye.